Hi everyone. In today's video, we will design this vibrant and modern logo design. This logo is the combination of letter A and arrow design. Now let's continue with the design process in Illustrator. First of all, go to File and select New. Select the units to pixels. Select the width of the page to 1920 and height to 1080 pixels. Then in the Advanced menu, simply select the color mode to RGB. First of all, select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle. Then apply this black color. Then go to windows and select layers. Click on this drop down menu and simply lock this rectangle layer by clicking on this icon. And now we will continue with the design process on this black rectangle. So select the pen tool and draw a triangle. We doesn't need the fill color, so we will cancel it. Select the selection tool Click once on this triangle, then cancel the fill color by clicking on this icon and apply it a stroke color like this white color. Then apply the value of stroke width to 90 points. Then in the transform menu, simply select the value of width to 530 and also for the height to 530. Then go to stroke and select round cap and round corner. Select the direct selection tool, select this anchor point, then drag this circular icon like this. Then select the scissor tool, click once on this anchor point and also on this one. Select all of these shapes and reduce the value of opacity to 50%. Deselect the shapes, again select the direct selection tool, click this line, then select this anchor point and click on this icon which says convert selected anchor points to smooth. Also for this one, again click on this icon. Then use these handles to modify the geometry of this shape. Select all of these shapes, go to object, select path and select outline stroke. Then press Z and zoom in this area. Select the selection tool, deselect these shapes, then select the pen tool and draw a shape from this path to this one. Simply press enter to complete the shape. Then select both of these shapes, select the shape builder tool and delete this part by holding down the alternate key. Select the selection tool, select only this shape and press delete. Now again press Z and this time zoom in this area. Select the pen tool and draw a shape from this anchor point to this path. We doesn't need the fill color so we will simply click on this swap icon. Then select both of these shapes, go to windows, select pathfinder and select divide. Then right click and select ungroup. Select this shape and to make another copy simply hold down the alternate key and drag it like this. Then select both of these shapes, select the shape builder tool and simply delete the unwanted part by holding down the alternate key. Then select the direct selection tool and modify the geometry of this shape by using these anchor points. And to reset the page view, simply press Ctrl plus 0. Select this shape, right click, go to arrange and select bring to front. And to make a copy of this shape, again hold down the alternate key and drag it Select both of these shapes, select the shape builder tool and simply delete this one. Also for this one, again make a copy by holding down the alternate key. Select both of these shapes, select the shape builder tool and delete this one. To differentiate between these shapes, we will simply apply a different color like this red color. Then select all of these shapes and increase the value of opacity to 100%. And now it's time to apply our color gradients. Simply deselect the shapes, select only this part, then select the gradient tool, click on this bar to apply the gradient, select this color, click on this color menu, then select the RGB colors and apply the color code to FF353E. And for this one, again select the RGB colors and select the color code to FF9F16. Then select this white shape, select the eyedropper tool and select this gradient then select this white shape again select the eyedropper tool and select this gradient and now it's time to apply the highlight effects so simply select this red shape again select this gradient bar then select this color go to swatches and select this yellow color also for this one 
Again select this yellow color, but this time reduce the value of opacity to 0%. Then select the gradient tool and adjust it like this. Then select this shape, go to eyedropper tool and select this gradient. And simply adjust it by using the gradient tool. Then select this shape, again apply this color gradient, but this time add a third color in the center. Increase the value of opacity of this color to 100%. And for this one, simply reduce the value of opacity to 0% and also for this one, reduce the value to 0%. Then select the gradient tool and adjust it like this. Now we will apply the shadow effects to create a better visual. So zoom in this area, then select the pen tool and draw a shape from this anchor point to this path. And then complete it like this. Then select the selection tool, select both of these shapes, select the shape builder tool and simply delete this one. Then select only this one and change its color to black color. Then reduce the value of opacity to 25%. Also for this part, again select the pen tool and draw a shape from this anchor point to this path. Then select both of these shapes, select the shape builder tool and click once on this area. Then deselect the shapes, select this one and press delete. Again select this shape and apply the value of opacity to 25%. To remove this unwanted area, simply select both of these shapes, go to shape builder tool and simply delete it by holding down the alternate key. Then reset the page view by pressing Ctrl plus zero. And this is our modern and vibrant logo design. You can also experiment with different color gradients and highlight effects. And this is for today's simple and quick logo design process. If you think that this video helps you in some way, then like and subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.